In this video, we're going to try to discharge a patient using, using Cerner. So usually we're under the order section. Now we're going to go to the depart section. Under this section, first we have to put a diagnosis in for this patient. Since we're on the cardiology service, we can say that we admitted this patient for a non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. So we hit return, brings up a series of diagnoses. So we can double click on non-STEMI, say that this is the discharge diagnosis. We can say OK, and maybe we want to add also that the patient has atrial fibrillation. We can go back through this process where we search under diagnosis. You can also set up a favorites folder uh, and where we have atrial fibrillation pre-selected underneath where we can go discharge and add a new. If we wanted to add mitral stenosis, We have mitral stenosis here. We can add this as well using discharge. Once we've added several diagnoses, we can go back to the depart. Nothing shows up yet under this area, so you have to come back to the top and hit refresh. And now you'll see that we've populated with both of our diagnoses. Under this section, you hit the plus arrow to add follow up. So we can have the patient follow up with their usual primary care physician, or we can have the patient follow up, you know, within one to two weeks with this physician. We can put under edit comments, um, please obtain echo prior to visit, which should go to the office staff. And then you come uh, and click OK at the bottom and the discharge follow-up is, is present. Oftentimes when you click on the plus button, the provider search will be under here, but also free text follow-up. You can say follow-up with primary care physician. Uh, there's also a favorites button that will be populated with the patient's primary care physician. Under exit care education, you can search for different diagnoses, such as atrial, fibrillation. Since this is a test patient, nothing populates under this section, unfortunately. Med reconciliation, you click this button and all the medications that they've been given as an inpatient and outpatient, you click continue or discontinue. And then you can discharge the patient by just clicking this down arrow and clicking discharge patient and it will populate. So diagnosis, discharge orders, med rec, follow-up, exit care education. Each one of these boxes will fill into blue as you're proceeding through, which will help give you a heads up and don't forget to refresh as well.